on, man. Let's stretch. Let's stretch. Let's stretch. Let's stretch. What challenges do you think you'll face this season? Uh, I think external challenges will just be the the expectations. Uh, you know, we've never had expectations before. It's just been this is a basketball team, so it's it's a different level. I think the level up in competition. We play like Arizona Conference Prep. We play a lot of nationally ranked teams. I think those will be challenges. And internal, I think it's just. You know, with guys continuing to be the same person every day, not letting success say, okay, I get to be this different guy, but actually wanting to do the same stuff that we did that got us um, all the spoils that we got this year. So I think those are the biggest challenges for us. What are your expectations for this season? Um, our expectations, I mean, you want to win again, but that's – not solely within our control. I mean, it is by how hard we work, we can put ourselves in a position, but you never know how any of that stuff goes. My expectation for this year is, is the same. Um, just for these guys to grow as people, grow as basketball players, be leaders in our school community, um, and take care of one another. Like those are our, our, always our expectations, you know, just respond to Anything that happens that may be negative or positive, respond to it the way that we train and, you know, just, just come here every day and enjoy it. I really expect to enjoy it this year. Like, we get to go to Kentucky, we get to go to Florida, you know. We win a state championship. We're, we're right there to play for a national championship. Like, those are things that these guys will never forget. I'll never forget it. And that's, that's my number one expectation. I just want this to be a joyous place this year. I mean, I don't know. You haven't been here up until now, but, you know, I've tried to dial back on the yelling and all of that kind of stuff. You know, I'm, I'm doing a lot of studies on athletes and mental health and trying to implement some of that. So I'm, I'm excited for those kind of things this year. What's your opinion on the program being transformed over the past four years? Um, I think it was, it's been a lot of hard work. Um, when we took this program over, they had won three games a year before. I think they even lost a game by 79 points at home. Uh, when I left Aquinas, we won a state championship at Aquinas. Um, I think two years before I left to come here, and everybody was like, "Why would you? Why would you leave Aquinas to go to Grovetown?" And I just felt like this has always been a fertile ground for athletes. I didn't know, you know, I never like to talk down on other coaches, but I didn't know what the level of coaching and the level of dedication was there. So. We came here year one. I kind of knew that it was going to be some front end costs. We went 21 and six um, from being three and 21 the year before. Last year, I mean the year year after that, the uh, 2021 season, we were 14 and nine, but we should have been better. We had guys that just fought us on every bit of the expectations and how we should play. They fought us, and it was a learning experience for me. And last year. You know, we won a championship, but I always tell people those freshmen walked in the door like similar to a lot of those freshmen out there. Looked like them and everything. Looked all squarely like they didn't know what was going on. They were small, um, but they committed to weight room 11 months out of the year. They committed to sitting in the front of the classroom, to not having a phone in class. They committed to doing the, the Warrior Academy culture assignments. They, that's three years of that. Even in times in the, in the state run when things got hard, like the Willer game going into the fourth quarter, I remember succinctly telling those guys, they don't get up at 5.30. They don't lift weights like you do. They don't do the Warrior Academy. That's why we do it. Like, let it fuel us to get to get us, you know, past this hump right there. And it worked. And, it, I mean, so here it's been, a, it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of changing perceptions in the community. I mean, I don't do social media now, and it's strictly because of like parents in the community, I cut their kids. Not just that, I like the, I like the time I get back, but that was their place. They go on social media and, oh, you, you suck, why'd you cut my kid, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, I'm not going back and forth with you. Like, I, I, I'm the only one who can lose here. You can't, you can say whatever you want. I guess that's a part of it. Um, but it's, it's, it's great to see where we're at now. Like, there's never been a nationally ranked team in the CSRA, ever. Like, in the entire T of the CSRA, there's only one, and we did that. And we've won here in three basketball seasons more games than this program had won in the previous 11 years combined. 
So it's, it's, it's an attitude of winning and it's an attitude of growth here that, you know, it's, I can just come in and coach now versus manage everybody. So I think that's, that's the biggest thing I take from it. Darion, you get any calls last night? Yeah, just a All right, we're going to go like this. I just said I don't have work. I'm going to say today's off day. What do you think an off day means? Type it bold. Type it bold. All right. Yeah, we can't Stop. 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 Bro, the kid, the kid grabbed the bug out of the cup and was chasing us around the playground. <laughs> right. Thank <laughs> you. 
to go against it. Defense to go against it. I would just say, please talk where you're going a little bit better so we don't have those questions.
Take it away, you're getting to an angle where you can guard this guy through the sides of the cut. Okay? Yeah. So that's one way if it's a corner drive. Let's just say it happens. Deny a corner. Let's just say because Darion happens. Sometimes Kevin, if you're a bigger guy, Aaron, let's just say you step no more. Uh, we're just gonna jab and get back. We're gonna full on commit. So let's just say he goes and I full on commit. I expect this guy right here to sprint back here. And two, we already have a backside defender, but it's just another layer of defense right here. All right, versus giving up the corner of me stepping and then he makes the pass and then I gotta go right here for a wide open shot or I'm sprinting out here and he goes by me. Everybody understand? So that's if it happens in the corner. Let's go through it a couple times. And it can start with Cam. Actually, just start at a disadvantage, DJ. Yep. Oh, man, we're good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh my god. Switch. Keep going by 
your ear. Your foot should be by your ear. Your foot should be by your ear, not under your chin. Enough is not enough, bro. Like, so, you, yeah, you did what every high school team does right now. Man, you practice for two hours. Good job. You watched a little bit of film. But what are you? What else are you gonna do? I know some of y'all are rehabbing injuries and whatnot. Are you gonna do more? Are you gonna go shoot? Are you gonna work out? Or are you just gonna go home and play Xbox? Like, what? What are you gonna do? So. Enough is never enough, bro. So I'm gonna piggyback on that. How many of you guys are trying to go to college? You know, I was I was reading something yesterday about a school, uh, Bashan High School in, in St. Louis, and they always, you know, they're perennial contender. You get a lot of guys from St. Louis that are in the pros that came through there, and their coach said that you don't necessarily come to Bashan to play high school basketball, you come to Bashan because you want to get ready to go play college basketball. And that's what I want this program to be about. But it doesn't come just because we have guys. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and I've been, I've been the same dude. You guys have been here from day one. I've preached nothing but work, just working extremely hard from day one. So if you're a guy that wants to go and play college basketball, you can't get in the gym and shoot right now. If you're banged up, I would be rehabbing myself, you know, just so I can have a better day. I would be trying to watch some kind of film, maybe on a guy that plays my position. Maybe I'm going back looking at game film from this year to see where I can be better at. And then if you can't get in the gym, you know, there's no excuse. I, those people will be cleared out at Grovetown. Um, I think like right around now, um, guys have a way in there. Um, you just, you just, you want to find it because the biggest thing that I wish I could do right now with the knowledge that I have now and, you know, if I had you guys' support system, uh, you know, at the same age, I'd be in the gym, I'd be in all of that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, you guys don't have this kind of struggle of where you live in a bad neighborhood, you don't know where your next meal coming from. You ain't worried about surviving right now. Right now, you're just trying to push yourself so when you do get away from your parents, you're self-sufficient and you're, you have the routine so you'll be successful. You understand what I mean? And that's what we try to do here for you guys. We try to, like, put stuff on your brain so it'll be that because you 23 guys, y'all think it's y'all senior year, but before you know it, y'all will be graduating. Like it seems now we're in, in June, but I'm telling you, it'll be gone. And then you juniors, it'll be gone and it'll go. And so like, what are you taking from this place? I ain't talking like uniforms, shirts, or none of that. What of the good stuff that we're trying to teach you guys that you're gonna take with you 
And the biggest thing is you just be courageous enough. Be courageous enough to say, hey, I'm tired, but I could do more. I'm tired, but I could do more. And that takes courageousness. Fear always leads to like laziness and just kind of letting things stay where they are. But I thought the intensity picked up a lot. I think a big part of it was just us being in here and you know, not having as many people, but I thought the intensity was great. Let's have another one. And then remember, we gotta go up here and we gotta, we gotta show and prove on Friday, all right? But let's go. Warriors on three, family on six. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, man. paper I gave you guys. Um, we're going to do that. we really going to, we'll do it the rest of this week. Um, but pay attention during practice. So like you varsity guys, JV guys, tomorrow during your game, pay attention to your self-talk. Um, matter of fact, we'll, we'll hit this back next week. But then after that, well, so today, today, just to start, we're going to take a few minutes and write down some of your self-talk from today, all right, on handout one. Do not pass judgment on yourself. So don't get in this and then say, if you, thought, if you spoke to yourself negatively today, write it down. If you spoke to yourself positively today, write it down. Don't do it with a judgment, because it's not a right or wrong thing. It's to trying to get you guys to open your eyes and see yourselves thing. Um, complete the handout on what your self-talk was and how you were playing at the time of the self-talk. And then after that, we'll discuss it a little bit. So I'm going to give you guys five minutes. We got to wait here, bro. You wait late. Five minutes on the way. Okay, Malik. Y'all see that? That's good. I'm oh. slow. What's that word? Ambidextrous? He said, what's that word? What did you say? Amber, Amber, Dexter. Let me get a pencil, bud. My son. 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 Aaron's still living off that high from yesterday, getting that three pointer. Hey, get Aaron. Hey, get Aaron. What's that? What's, what's that shell talk? Uh, 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 uh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Malik. Uh, guy. When you say we had to get on the wall, in my head, I'm like, man, I gotta get on the wall again. The second time, twice the second time. <laughs> in my head, that's why I was in my head. That, but that, that's a negative, right? That's a negative. Yeah, that's, that's a negative. Did anybody have any positive self-talk today? I did. I had some positive. Well, you didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, when you talk today, when you talk today. Zoom in on his stick. Wait, wait, wait. What was your positive one? My bad, man. But my positive was, you know, I wasn't in the circle. No, no, no. My positive was, when he was in the circle, you know what I'm saying? I took good out of what you said, like, when we was in the circle, all of us need to take a cop. Like, when we was in the circle, you know what I'm saying? 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 You know what I had I had negative, I'm not gonna lie, because I forgot. And then informal, I was like, all right, I know I gotta get up at this time when I get home, get ready, stuff like that. So I think I had informal or anything. Oh the trigger was the trigger was like just knowing, like looking at my schedule. Yeah. Anybody else want to 
Like when I know I gotta do something, you know, feel like doing it. Gotta tell myself to get up and do it. Tell yourself or you gonna talk shit. Huh? Did you say so? What type of work? Be telling myself. So informal? Informative? So do y'all think you can start off talking negative and then move to positive? Yeah. yeah, just look at the situation. Just look at the situation for what it is. Then like, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. I'll share a couple. I'll give y'all two, two things, two things you can take. Bless you. All right, so nine tools, nine tools that's going to help you change your self-talk, and we'll go into more to this next week. I'll give you two of them. First one is called me, myself, and I. Very important technique because it requires you to refer to yourself by your own name in your self-talk. It allows your body to take a step back, and it will lead to improved performance. This is one that every athlete should be incorporating. So here's an example of it. Like if it's me, come on D man, we started off tough, but, but we got this. We done done the work, trust ourselves. You know, you talk to yourself, you talk to yourself, take your, or you can say me or you, any of that, but you gotta talk to yourself. Second one, second one, time machine. And this is anytime you have negative self-talk, you wanna monitor and change it, time machine. This involves you thinking about how the event, how whatever you're going through in that moment will impact your life down the road in one, three, or five years. Most challenges that athletes face at the moment seem really big, but they not really a big deal as you move on with your life, all right? So this tool allows you to put distance between yourself and what is triggering your negative self-talk, all right? So an example of that, you could be going through something Simply tell yourself, how am I going to view this in a year? Will it matter how, how what I'm going through right now? Would that even really matter in a year? Would that matter in three years from now? Would that matter in five years from now? And if it's not, get off that book and then just get back to what to what it is. You feel what I'm saying? I'll leave y'all. I said two. I'll leave y'all with the, with the last. Well, I'll leave y'all with one more. Um, this one, BFF, best friends forever. What advice when you, when you're going through a challenge, what advice would you give your best friend or the family member that you love the most who is going through the same challenge? This allows you to practice kindness that you would never speak to your best friend or, or family member that you hold in that esteem the same way that you're speaking to yourself in that moment. Y'all understand that? So like those are three things to carry with yourself. We're going to continue to work on our self-talk and like the mental part of things, uh, you know, every week that we hear. But, that's it for the day. I ain't got nothing on my end. I actually gotta go get a haircut. His mama likes you. Oh. Oh. Frank Juan. Frank Juan might need a yeah. might need a trim. Yeah, man. Yeah, he needs a little trim. Whoa. Believe. That was him. Believe. Believe. Whoa. Oh no, replay that back. Man, I'm tired, man. You playing tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What you gotta say for North Gwinnett? Huh? Let me say a shark. Hey, hey, this is uncut too. This is uncut. Keep the camera rolling. Hold up. Come here, Malik. Malik. Come here. Nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that.
B. L. R. O. B. B. You said B. B. Big O. Big Big O. Big C. Big O. Big O. Uh, uh, my homeboy is Octarius. Uh, I said O. Who is Big O? My 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 O. G. My O. G. is Big O. Who we missing? Say name. Say name. Who is O. S. Oh, it's Mariah. Hey, Mariah. It's time to dip, man. It's time to dip. Icy hot? Nah, I don't know what this is, but it worked though. That's not good. Still hoop, huh? What about you? I ain't eat. Bro. I ain't eat since lunch. Bro. You get dinner? On the court. Oh, okay. You got you gotta eat. You gotta eat. Let's find advantages. 
hunt them, hunt and advantage. You hunt an advantage by not sticking the ball. Hunt an advantage and then use an advantage once you have it. All right, do not stick the ball. We want to go to the playmaker, but we don't want to force it. And then we can offensive rebound in this game that we're playing, all right? Um, defensively, finish off possessions with a box out. Get to a midline ASAP. We talked about self-talk yesterday. Me, defensively, I'm always asking myself if I'm doing my self-talk, should I be at a midline right now? Um, that's, that's something you can incorporate. All right, rotate. This is something that we didn't do well all week, and I, I didn't hammer you guys on it, but I found myself saying it over and over again. We have to close out with hands, and then we have to be an arm length. We, can, we gotta stop guarding guys with our hands right here. We gotta stop guarding guys with our hands right here. All right, get back in transition. To the paint, somebody stops the ball, everybody goes where? To the paint, all right? And now the corners, they got guys who can shoot, so if we're gonna switch, you gotta attach the shooters quick, all right? Um, they got a pretty much a new team, something that I wanna try different this year when we know we got teams that over dribble, like they got a guy that over dribble. I, I mean, and I picked it up from watching Golden State, but they load up on the dribble and make those guys that like to bounce it a lot, they have to, it, decision making, you know what I mean? So. We got somebody that's just over, like, let's get in the biggest help that you can possibly be in. Still be in the corner if it's on your side, but everybody else need to be in big help, man. All right, um, we're gonna start out. Malik, Kale, Darion, Aaron, DJ to start the game, man. I'm coming with subs in about two, three minutes. Let's have fun, man. Shit, this is gonna be a fun weekend. Nobody should be nervous. Nobody should be none of that. And if you are, that's fine. But what we talk about when we watch film, choose to be courageous, bro. Choose to be courageous, all right? Come on, let's go. Let's have a good warm-up as well. Warriors on three, family on six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. They can shoot, they can shoot, so we gotta get the shooting. Hey, so you communicate, communicate. Um, get it down, 
put the ball in and the ball. Play and go, be smart. We talk about neutral all the time. We talk about an advantage. You don't have an advantage. Get off the bat. You understand that? You have an advantage, fucking abuse your advantage. All right, all right. Where's our two car? Let's see what we're doing. Man. We got this jump for me, man. Yeah, we better go back to the, the haunted house, I guess. This I'm not the sleeping EJ there. This I'm the not EJ sleeping there. Hey, you can sleep in our hotel room. We, we got all, a hotel room. We all I gotta say, yeah. Airbnb with the gang, you feel me? The attic. What car are you on? Hey, <laughs> I heard there's ghosts in there. I ain't scared no ghosts. You need some supernatural powers. <laughs> I got it. We go here. What was your three point percentage today? He won at about five. What hey, happened? I, what hey, happened? I, hey, shooters gonna shoot, you feel me? Hey, 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 let's look at the bracket. Let's look at the bracket. Hey, 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 let's, let's look at the bracket. Let's look at the bracket. We got Tri Cities tomorrow. All right, all right. Tri Cities. Uh, we're gonna beat them. So we, we got we got Grace. We got Grace. That's Grace gonna be there. We go, we're 
back, we back home. We got Batman right himself. He don't. He Who shows. Batman? What, what you, bro, come on, bro. He shows up. When we, uncut, hey, bro. He shows up when we need him. Don't need to go Batman. What's up, hey. Who I am? No, 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 no. no. The Joker. Hey, uh, hey, we got no, 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 no. They go Shark right now. Hey, they get it, get it. They go Shark. Hey. That's where it Hey, but we got Minute Man right here. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 let's keep, let's keep it going. I don't I don't hey, 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 this is my blog. Hey, we all, hey, bro. Hey, give me the shit. Hey, whoa, 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 I'm completely straight. Hello. Beautiful people. <laughs> I need a retwist, but I'll deal with that when I when I got the time. We got the win, so. Bro, you got drop. Bro, the camera's on. You don't need to be touching on the lens, bro. You got drop. I got. Here, I'm trying to rob right here. Put on rob. Put on rob. Rob. <laughs> hey, take it. Yeah. Not just any second. Pump, Mr. In a second. Yeah. I'm with Mr. CS Productions. I don't know what we're gonna do. It's eight o'clock. I'm at my bedtime. Where are you gonna go eat? I got stuff for my job, so give me a little donut. A little donut. That's really healthy after a really great game. I'm gonna tap loose on this guy. Man, Malik. Fat look bad. Cone head. You see this? You foul for saying that. said cone head. Does he need to go in the attic tonight? Yes, he's going to the attic. I'm gonna take care of our business from this going forward. Nah. Do what we ain't supposed to do for the rest of the weekend. Take care of your body. So. Like that's what they want to say. Yay! Get it out, man. Get some food. What you do? Boy, family. <laughs>